What is going on everybody? It's Hayes Carlson coming back at you over here at Floyd's RV in beautiful Norman, Oklahoma. And today, it's a little windy. Hope you guys can hear me. This Oklahoma wind's going nuts right now. But right now, we're going to be talking about the Shasta 18FQ. I'm going to tell you all about it and kind of what sets this thing apart from the others in its class. Let's get into it. First things first, you'll notice our big 20 pound propane tank. The spot for our batteries, I really do like this corrugated rock guard here. So we're not going to mess up this fiberglass front panel here. And guys, I really do like that Shasta. Established in 1941. Golly, that is a long time. Now guys, we literally just got this thing in today. Today, just a few hours ago, we got this in off the truck, out here on the lot. Had to show it to you. Got it in today. We just got this thing in. All right, going over here, this is our pass-through storage. You can see all the way out the other side, you got a nice light here. And you'll see our 30 amp power cord over there too. Now, we do have the magnet doors, which I love so much. Now, on here, this is the Shasta sanitizing station. So what that means is that you get this little removable sink. How cool. So with this guy, we can clean some fish if you guys are going to do that. If you take this on a hunting trip, uh, then we can clean whatever kind of meat and things like that that you guys happen to get. And this is a really neat part. We have this spring-loaded uh, paper towel holder right here. Really cool stuff. And then we can uh, lift this guy up, push it back in, and lock it back into place whenever we're not using it. How cool. Really neat stuff. Now we do have our stabilizer jacks. We'll have two up front as well as two up in the back. We have our nice Solera awning that's going to go over this way. And there is a nice LED strip right there. It's going to cast a nice light so we can see what we're doing. Now guys, care camps in Forest River, making memories and fighting cancer, man. That's what it's all about. Like I said, this is the 18FQ and this is... Uh, the camping with ease package from Shasta. Now, of course, we need to stabilize this unit before occupying and going uh, camping in it. We do have the lend a hand handle, which I love so much. And we do have a hookup for an outside TV. How cool is that? And underneath that, we're going to have two GFCI protected outlets. Now, with these GFCI outlets, this is one of the only ones that I have seen that gives you two separate covers. So if you're only going to use one and not use the other, then you can keep it shut, which is really neat. No other manufacturer I've seen so far is doing that. Our nice 10 ply tires with that little green cap there. We know that it's filled with nitrogen. It's not going to expand or contract whenever the air gets hotter or colder. Good thing there. Now guys, I really do like this Shasta graphic right there. I think that looks really cool. Now guys, we are already pre-wired for the King Connect Wi-Fi. Really neat stuff. Of course, we're gonna have our two marine grade speakers outside so we can listen to some music and have a good time. We'll have our side markers here. And then in the back, this is the back of our hot water heater. So we'll mess with this thing whenever we winterize or dewinterize the unit. Now we are pre-wired for a backup camera. Really cool stuff, guys. So here at Floyd's, we deal with Furion. They have a backup camera. It's a really easy plug and play system. It just plugs right up into there. Comes with a little monitor that you can keep into your truck. We have one that's like a 4.3 inch, a 5 inch, and then a 7 inch too. So we got options. We got options, y'all, as far as backup cameras go. A nice nitrogen filled spare tire. And then what I like about this big bumper is how it extends out. And because of that, we can use these holes here to put different things on, like a grill or a bike rack or different stuff like that. Really cool. Now, guys, this is a 30 amp unit here's our 30 amp plug there again with our four stabilizer jacks and now guys we're going to have our wastewater holding tank which is the gray our sewer outlet connection this big hole here and then the sewage holding tank which is going to be our black tank guys so we do have a gray and black tank i'm going to show you guys a little bit of that and how that works here's the exhaust for our refrigerator city water connection and our fresh water connection and we do have an outdoor shower you guys know how i feel about that love that stuff and then this is going to be our antifreeze inlet to winterize the unit now whenever you guys go dry camping and you're using all of your fresh water and you don't quite use it all they've thought of this and that's why they gave us this fresh water drain 
which is right there. There's a little, uh, if you guys can see that little handle there, that is what is going to drain off the rest of our hot water. Awesome stuff. Moving right along, guys, we do have inlets for cable as well as satellite. Really neat stuff so we can keep us entertained. And we are pre-wired for solar. How cool is that, guys? Here's the inlet for our uh, solar charging in the other end of our pass-through storage with the magnet door. Oh, if you guys know me and watch my channel, you know that that's one of my favorite things. And then we can shut this guy back down. Now over here, let's talk about some weights. GVWR in this bad boy, 5050. Not bad. Just a hair over 5,000 pounds. Really not that bad. Now I know you guys have been waiting on this. Tired of hearing me talk about all this stuff on the outside. Let's hop in and check this thing out and see what it is all about. Of course, we're gonna have our nice bug door. We can undo that guy right here. And that way we can have this open whenever it's a beautiful day outside like it is today and not have to worry about any bugs getting inside of the coach. Awesome. All right, let's hop in. What do you guys think about this thing? Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think about this unit. All right, let's start up front and we'll work our way around. First things first, we're gonna have these nice accordion style shades. And then over here, me in the mirror, then we're gonna have our two pocket closets on both sides of the bed. A little cubby hole here as well as two USBs and two three-prong outlets nice big bed and then above that nice big bed we've got some more storage some overhead storage big old cavity back there and then here's our second pocket closet beautiful more space underneath two more USBs two more three-prong outlets, again, with our accordion-style shades. One thing the Shasta does, man, is they make it feel like home. I really love just some of the little things that they do in here to make it feel like home, like this guy. Really neat, I like it. Underneath the bed, you guessed it, more storage, baby! All right, and then onto our kitchen. Starting at the bottom over here, we're gonna have plenty of storage space underneath. And then onto our cabinet. Now guys, this is a solid surface, non-porous material, so it is cutting board quality. We can, uh, it is my antimicrobial, antibacterial, easy to clean, easy to wipe, that kind of thing. Let's see if I can undo this guy. There we go. And once we get that bad boy out of the way, our nice two sinks, nice gooseneck faucet with the removable chef's nozzle and a couple of different spray modes so we can spray however you like. Two GFCI outlets over here and then our gas stove, really neat. So we've got two regular burners and then one high output burner, guys. And this is a Greystone product cool part about this is that we can use this as a backsplash and speaking of backsplash man I love this design how cute is that we can lift this guy over giving us that much more counter space whenever we go to cook in here now we'll have our fan up top with our light and our fan on and off and then our nice graystone convection microwave cool stuff Above that, this sticker, we gotta talk about this, guys. This is the Dicor Tough Flex PVC roofing system. So it is high solar reflectivity, puncture resistant, and bonding strength, and it is a sustainable material, 100% recyclable material. 20 year warranty! It's got a 20 year warranty, man, that's crazy. I really do like the little designs that they've done in this glass, too. It's the little touches, man. Cool part about this is it is a Forest River product. So we can download the Forest River app and have access to all of your uh, 
owner's manuals at the tip of your finger. Really cool stuff. Here is going to be our GEAC system. So we can have our cold and then uh, what temperature we want it to be set at and then how fast we want that fan to blow. Cool, cool stuff. Now over here with our refrigerator, this is the biggest and coldest 12 volt 11 cubic, 11 cube RV refrigerator designed and built for an RV environment guys. Only proven 11 foot 12 volt fridge with hundreds of thousands sold turbo cool down in under one hour. Holy crap. Pair with Marlin portable solar panels. Guys, like I said, we are prepped for solar. Keeps frozen food frozen and frost free. Features that will make your home kitchen jealous. Oh my gosh. Turbo cooling. Turbo cooling frost free. Cool stuff. Plenty of room in here. Holy crap, this really is a deep fridge. All right, now going into the bathroom. Now guys, they do have unlimited roadside assistance benefits with the SafeSide RV Motor Club. Cool stuff. And this is all valid for one year from the date of purchase, guys. So you're going to be able to have towing, winching, jump starts, fluid delivery, tire changes, mobile mechanics, lockout assistance, technical assistance, and dealer locator service. How cool. That's what you get whenever you get a Forest River product, ladies and gentlemen. And then in our restroom... A nice big shower and in this shower we do have a nice skylight here in our shower curtain foot flush commode here and then man we got all kinds of storage space check this out plenty of space to put your toiletries your towels all that good stuff and then underneath here another big size storage compartment as well as the underneath the sink storage. Our nice stainless steel sink, two GFCI outlets, and our light switch to turn on and on. Now, in the bathroom, we do have this nice attic fan, and guys, these are powerful. So we can open this guy up, and then with a switch, we can turn the fan on, and whenever this door is shut, you guys gotta believe me on this one, whenever this door is shut and this fan is on, you can feel the air coming from underneath that door. That's how hard this thing blows. It's, it's really incredible how much air this little bitty fan will move. So whenever it's really hot and you guys are first setting up, whenever you first get there, open this guy up, turn the fan on, get all that hot air out of here. Because nobody wants that, right? Medicine cabinet. And then me again. Now going back out here. Here is going to be our Domatech thermostat. Now this is going to be for our heat. We're going to control our AC over here on the ceiling, where this guy is going to be for our heat. Now guys, we are we do have a TV backer here, and then we are pre-wired for Wi-Fi with King Connect. Awesome stuff. And then we do have a uh, TV on and off, aux and satellite switch there. And then our drive infotainment system that's going to play our music either through the TV, Bluetooth, HDMI, or aux cord or USB. So we got options with this thing. So we can play our music outside. We can play it inside through the speakers that are all around the unit to give us a surround sound feel. How cool is that? Once again, pre-wired for King Wi-Fi. Fastest speeds and the longest range and more storage up here now guys we do have the four person dinette good looking table now of course as you know we can knock the legs out of this guy and then put that table down giving us another place to sleep somebody and then underneath here we're going to have plenty more storage and underneath on this side we are going to have our breaker and fuse panel cool cool stuff Guys, I want some feedback on this thing. Let me know what you think. Like I said, this is a super fresh unit. We literally just got it today. I like it. I think it's pretty cool. What do you guys think? Drop me a comment down below and let me know what you think about this thing. And if you like it, and if you could see you and your family camping in it, let me know. I'm going to have my phone number, my email address, my Facebook page, my inventory website, as well as a link to Shasta's website so you can learn more about the 18FQ, as well as all the other cool floor plans that they've got. But guys, I've got a ton of Shastas in right now. 
like I said, we just got them in. Just got this guy and all of these other Shasta. So if you guys see something you can't live without, hit your boy up. You know I'm going to make you the smoking deal of the day. It's Hayes Carlson signing off over here at Floyd's RV in beautiful Norman, Oklahoma. Hope you guys are having a great day, and I will see you on the next one.